Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today we are actually in my backyard. You guys don't get to see a lot of it. Well, because it's not as nice as my front yard. Uh, between babysitting my brother, King Charles Cavalier, and just all the foot traffic of bringing back and forth and equipment, it's just not worth the effort for me to try and make it as nice as my front yard. But if you guys follow my lawn care log, I probably have one of the best personally cared for lawns in the area. And I'll even probably go as far as potentially Long Island. Get compliments all the time. Irregardless, this endeavor is not cheap. And I'll probably go a little bit above and beyond. Uh, this is my Billy Goat Aerator. Um, right? Does a homeowner really need that? Nope. But guess what? I do. I'm tired of chasing only professionals around. Not happening. I'm tired of it. So I went out and bought it. Got it on my own. Now, this thing is great. The only issue that I'm having is it pulls. So let's see if we can catch that on camera. Let's see if we could. We're going to repair it, hopefully. Never really worked on this, to be honest. This, this, this one. I really should write something on this. But you can see it's pulling. So let's go take a look at the system and uh, let's go from there. I'll see you guys back in the driveway. So in order to fix something, we have to understand how it works. So let's just see if I can see what's going on here. Right, so we've got a chain, sprockets, okay. If you guys see far right, there is a sprocket with a chain and it's connected to a shaft on the front drive wheels. So obviously, something isn't engaging. It's causing a pull. So let's start popping off the wheels and let's see what we get ourselves into. Let's get a closer. Let's see if I get you guys from here. Can you see that? Sprocket, chain, wheels, grease fittings, beautiful. It's got grease, excellent. So, uh, I'm gonna pop off these wheels. All right, so I set it up on the jack stand so we could have these wheels spin freely. Okay, so this one I feel tension on. And this one, see that? Nothing. All right, so let's take off this wheel. Okay, look, there's a keyway. You see that? Oh, that's easy. Look at this. There's no keyway here. Can you guys see that? No keyway. So, I wonder if I have keyways from a hemi swap or keyways from an engine. Let me go some digging around. to the testing ground. All right guys, let's start this thing up and let's see if she drags. Yeah. See if this will hold, because remember, this is a little keyway from a lawnmower engine.
this and let's just see. We did one pass. See if the keyway held up. Push these wheels one more time. Yep. Success, success, success. All right, guys, so that's it, man. If you guys have a Billy Goat aerator and you're having traction issues where it's pulling to one side or the next, check your keyways, man. Pretty wild. Would never think to know that. All right, guys, if you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. And guess what? I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. And you know what this means, right? We're going to do another lawn care vlog where we're going to be aerating and we're going to further instill, throw down some more KTF, all right?